My name is Brett Wynn, and this is my wife, Suzanne. And we have been at First Baptist Church ever since we moved here from Kentucky uh, back in 2005. It feels like home because you it's not a big church, and it's not too big, it's not too small. Uh, it's just right, I call it the Goldilocks Church. Uh, it's just right, and um, it's intimate. I love being in this sanctuary, worshiping on Sunday morning, you get friendly faces. I think what I love most about First Baptist Church is um, how welcoming it is to move to an area where we had no ties to family or friends. And so the church home here became our family. On Sunday mornings, I really like the traditional worship that we have at First Baptist Church. Um, I like having a hymnal in my hand because it reminds me of that growing up or whatever, singing the hymnals, and I still like to have a hymnal in my hand on a Sunday morning. Uh, just the music here is phenomenal. Obviously, we've been involved in, in missions in, in other countries. I'm excited to hear about the new opportunities that are um, coming up with Honduras. Um, and, you know, of course, we've done mission trips with the church to Houston and to some other areas. And those have all been great experiences that I've been able to be involved with. And moving forward, I would love to see, you know, how much more we can do. But again, like I said, the world's a big place. You know, uh, you want to affect all of it, but you, you've got to, you know, you've got to choose the spots where, you know, where you think you can be the most helpful. And I think First Baptist Church is trying to do that and moving forward with the opportunities that we have. Well, back in 2016, uh, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor and um, I'd started going to a small group with my Tuesday morning Bible study ladies and I got really close to them and going to Bible study and learning from them and they taught me so much because they had been going through life and um, they'd been in valleys and been on the mountains and just seeing how their faith stayed strong in the valley time really helped me when I was going through my diagnosis and treatment. I grew up in church. I, I accepted Jesus at a young age, so I've always felt fairly strong in my faith. And I think where I felt the most growth here over the last 15 years that we've been in this area is when Suzanne had her, you know, bout with cancer. God, I think, uses, uh, you know, struggles in our life to, you know, as a sounding board, and, and, and it really made me consider how strong my faith is, and that was only emboldened by the people at First Baptist Church. I think First Baptist Church is such a generous, generous church. Um, we started out, one of the biggest things I think we've done in the community is open hands. Uh, it kind of started when uh, I think Nita Moore's heart here at our church, and it started in our church, and then we moved over to our building uh, on White Street, and then it's grown into having just the whole community of churches coming together uh, to feed several families uh, that I think really impacts our community. Obviously, when you're trying to minister someone and, and, and try to um, get them involved, um, you, you want to find out what their needs are. No matter what need or no matter what they're telling me, I think I can find a place, a person, a group, um, worship, you know, Wednesday night, something that would appeal to them. If anyone is out there looking for a church, I would love for you guys to come check us out. Uh, we have services at 11 a.m. and if you can't make it in person, we also have it streaming online. And the best is yet to come.